All right, guys, these are your channeled messages for Wednesday, May 15th, 2024, but the messages are timeless. Whenever you find them, you're meant to find them. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Let's get it. So the first card out is forgive yourself and others. Forgiveness is freeing you for letting yourself down, others for what they've done to you. When we forgive, we begin to heal. Second card, it's a vibe. You just know, feel something. Good or bad vibes give insight to the things we can't physically see. Anything that moves your soul is a vibe. Trust the vibes. And last card out is not that bad. Get out of your head. Overthinking, mental prison, anxiety, calm your mind, mind your thoughts. So right off the, right off the top, it feels like there's this You're going to have to use your intuition because there is, I mentioned this in a previous video some time ago, maybe a week ago, that there's this horde of people getting ready to try to make a re-entrance back into your life. And you are going to need to discern, trust the vibes. on who truly is sorry and ready to change or has changed, you'll know. I mean, it, you can't fake. You can't fake energy. That's the, that's the dead giveaway. I'm telling you this now. You, you can't fake a vibe. You really cannot. You will be able to detect BS a mile away, especially at this point in the game, you will. So just keep your heart chakra open Keep your third eye open. I mean, it It just, I mean, that's just a, a given at this point, but tr trust yourself, trust your vibes, trust your intuition, trust your guidance. When these people places, when these people come back in and they're coming, when these people come back into their, to your life, if I wanted to say if their energy doesn't give them away, which it will, but I'm saying if, if at immediately the first thing that you don't pick up is their, their energy, how they operate, how they talk, how they move, how they act, how they speak, will their words match their actions? Do their words match their energy? How do they feel to you? How does it feel when you commune with these people? If it, if it's giving yuck, grimy, ugh, black cat like vi <laughs> vibes, it's a no. You can forgive these people and still not have them in your life. I don't care what anyone says. You can get mad all you want. This is that's the fact of it. Just because people say, "Oh, you." You, you know, you really didn't forgive if you were not. No, no, that's manipulation. That's lies. 444 was just on the clock. That's manipulation. That's lies. And those are people who are just mad because they got cut off from leeching, mooching, using you and your good grace. No, 
you do what's best for you. And if, if their energy is affecting you at some sort of level, if you feel drained, if you feel gross, if you feel any kind of negative way, if there's any type of negative vibe coming off of people, it's just a no, period. You can absolutely forgive people without giving them an all access pass back into your life. You can forgive people without having them in your life, period. You can forgive people without talking to them or having any kind of interaction with them across the board in any kind of way, shape or manner. You absolutely can. The forgiveness is not for them. I say this often. This is my little jingle. Forgive them for they know not what they do. Forgive them not for them, but for you. The forgiveness is for you, not for them. Also, forgive yourself for your past. You went through it so that you could be one of the authentic people who actually walk the walk and can talk the talk. Because right now we're coming out of a phase where there's a lot of false prophets. There's a lot of false leaders. There's a lot of false gurus. There's a lot of false people who are in high places and leadership positions that are being stripped down this very moment because they are... not real for lack of better words they they talk good talk but they've not walked any of the walk they've not been through any of the things it's kind of like a lot of rappers you know they they talk about it they rap about a lot of stuff that they've never gone through right but this is like on a much bigger scale when you are leading the masses at this point in time, I God Source Universe doesn't want actors. God Source Universe doesn't want people with a squeaky clean record who prance around and and portray to be holier than thou, per, portray to be you know a, a, the squeaky clean person, right? God Source Universe likes real. That's it, literally. God Source Universe likes people who who can go through hell and back time and time again and can be transformed, molded, and shaped into their highest version, who can go through the fire and come out the other end purified, rising like the phoenix, that, can he, that God, source, universe can use as a key testimony to their power. So forgive yourself for your past, forgive yourself for where you've been, forgive yourself for anything, right? Because again, a lot of people, this is why Redemption Line exists. I will say this frequently. This is why I stand so firm, why I'm such a advocate for people get in the Redemption Line, you know, because it's supposed to be a lesson, not a life sentence, right? And, and you only stay in a life sentence if you don't forgive yourself, if you keep making the same choice to stay stagnant, to stay down, to stay repeating negative choices out of, out of alignment with your highest good purpose, destiny, self, and timeline choices and decisions, when you know good and well, it's time to make a change and you choose to not that is you sentencing yourself to a life sentence of misery, of stagnancy, of lack, of pain, of suffering, of heartache, of heartbreak, of loss. All these things is because you're out of alignment with your soul's destined path, with your true authentic self. I say it very frequently. We we all have the opportunity to evolve or repeat every single day. So forgive yourself and forgive others. Also, it's not that bad. Get out of your head. Stop overthinking. I think it's giving this more than anything. The energy is giving this. Stop overthinking the things that you have done. Stop overthinking. Am I good enough? Stop comparing yourself to these false prophets. Number one, these people who, who are out here in the spotlight right now, they're about to be stripped. A lot of these people who are leaders, who are out here, the 1%, who are in the spotlight, in the old world, they are being exposed 
for being just that frauds for being they they're not they're they're nobody let me put this out here nobody across the board is perfect and there no one should ever be portraying as if they are like if you don't have a backstory if you don't have a backstory you know what i'm saying like that's suspicious if you're just all the time sunshine and rainbows and you claim that that's just what your life has been all the time i mean great for you if that really is something that you have gone through wow that's you know, but a lot of people right now are literally being sh stripped from leadership in high positions because they're, they are not of pure heart. If you have a pure heart and soul, you can be redeemed, honestly, from anything. It's your soul and heart that matters. And that's what God Source Universe cares about. That's what God Source Universe uses to transform you. That's what God Source Universe judges you on at the end of the day. And I, I just want everybody to know that, really. Again, the card that's at the bottom of the deck here is there are imposters among us, illusions, trickeries, fakes, deception, use intuition. And again, this one is coming out because of what I just said. A lot of the false prophets, a lot of fakes, a lot of deception, and a lot of times thinking that, oh, we, you know, like we, we compare ourselves if we're not getting the same kind of recognition or if we see these people in leadership positions right now on TV and we think like, oh, their life's so perfect, they have this, they have that, or they're not doing this, or they haven't done that, does not, does not stop comparing yourself to anybody else because you're not like anyone else. You're one of one. God Source Universe made you the way that you are as a limited edition. Literally, it was a one print run. <laughs> This is just you. Only you can do what you do. Period. You are worthy. You are good enough. Also, please don't let the illusions and the fake leaders and prophets and, and of the things of the old world make you feel less than. Their time is limited. And with that, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes and support. The link is in the bio to purchase the V-Squad Oracle deck if you are interested. Don't forget to send me thanks to my P.O. box, also in the description box. And until next time, V-Squad. <laughs>